Hi, I'm Jamie Seymour and welcome to James Cook University. Welcome to my lab. If it stings you, bites you, and is liable to kill you, such as the animals and things up here, I've either worked on it, I'm going to work on it, or we have worked on it. There are some amazing animals in Australia to work on. One of the ones I want to talk about is this guy, the big box jellyfish. Probably, arguably, the most venomous animal on the planet. Doesn't look much there in the container, but like most things in my lab, there'll be hundreds of them stored away. So there's a box of box jellyfish, so to speak. The interesting thing about big box jellyfish is not only are they capable of killing you within minutes, but they've got 24 eyes. So they actually see, they can see through their body, 360 degree vision, seriously amazing. Lenses, retinas, and pupils. They can swim at the speed of an Olympic swimmer. They're 96% water. They sleep at night, and they are active visual predators. That's not bad for something at the bottom of the evolutionary tree. When you look at the venom from these guys, which is in their tentacles, that's when the story gets really interesting. How do you get the venom from the box jellyfish? Well, you cut the tentacles off and you put them in the fridge. What you end up with then is this. Freeze-dried box jellyfish venom. Now, there's enough in there to kill, I don't know, probably half a dozen elephants. That's how potent this stuff is. When you look at it, it's really a complex venom as well. There's several components to it. Now, when you look at the bits that cause problems to us, they're the bits that attack our heart. And they're very specific. And there's two components to it. And they act by what we refer to as synergism. Now, a little bit of science here. If I draw a graph and I have survival of cells up here. So that's 100% survival and zero down here. And I have time. If I take whole box jellyfish venom, what you find is your cells die and they never come back to life again. And that happens in around about two minutes. If I break that up and look at the two components, there's one component that does that, but your cells come back to life again. There's another bit that does this. It takes longer to cause death, but you stay dead for the want of a better word. Both those components together give you the world's most toxic venom in an animal on the planet. The first thing you realize is when you're stung is instant tears in your eyes. Think of a red hot knife dragged across your body, intensify that by a level of 10 and hang on to it for about 20 minutes. If it's less than two meters, it's not gonna kill you. It's just gonna cause scars on your body and I've got some. There's a big one on that finger there. It's another one down through here, a couple all over the place. We usually get stung when we're out working with these animals. If you had six foot, two metres with a tentacle across you, I've got to tell you, there's not much I can do for you. Fire out! Fire out! Mm, that hurt. Oh, that really hurt. A big sting, two metres of tentacle contact, 60, 120 seconds, and you're going home in a body bag. Yep, two minutes. Nothing else kills quite as badly as this animal. It's not all that bad though. We do have an anti-venom, which is made here in Australia. Now it works reasonably well, but doesn't work quickly enough. So what we're doing is we're playing around with a whole variety of other things to try and work out, are there better ways in which we can save people? That's another story though. That's the nature of science.